Hello, my name is Perakwa and welcome to the Truly Woman series. Today's question is, I feel disconnected from my breasts and when they're being kissed they often hurt. What can I do about this? The breast is the most sacred expression of this feminine. So let's look at the true nature of the breast and see what has actually happened on this planet to the breast. The breast is an expression of the deepest nurturing that the mother can give to the child. It's an expression also of how the earth nurtures her children. So if you look on the earth, everywhere you'll see her breasts, the mountains um, peaking and often they're covered with snow and there's a constant relationship with the clouds, with rain. And in a woman's body, she often does, doesn't discover the power of the breast until she breastfeeds a child and the breasts fully come to life unless of course they're being deeply deeply loved by man but when the breasts are being fully open and the breast is in its true nature the breast is a divine channel of love energy is pouring through the breast from the center from the center of let's say from the center of the universe let's say it comes this energy comes through a woman's body through the breast from that great mother or from the cosmos or from the spirit of love however you call that or look at that there is a divine energy that comes from the source through the breasts of woman and of course it's what gives us the nourishment to grow so the true nature of the breast is that we adore the breast whether we are man or whether we are woman the breast is the portal to deep deep nourishment but unfortunately what's happened over time is that the breasts have become sexualized. The breasts have become an object for the eye and for the mind to really, really use. Because the breast is innately so beautiful, you can't help but let the eye move to a woman's breast. But when the eye has been programmed with the mind, in other words, somebody is being more mental and they're coming from a place in their own being where their sexuality, where lust, where using sex to get more energy for myself, when those energies are looking through the eyes into a woman's breast, then there's a feeling in woman of uh, dirtiness, of shame or anger because she's not being looked upon with love. And then what's happened is that that has gone deeper and deeper into the psyche as being totally acceptable behavior. And we've made many, many magazines on the earth with women's breasts being pictured in all kinds of pornographic, very sexual ways. Um, movies have been uh, made again and again showing woman's breasts in a much more sexual way than really giving full sensuality of the breast. Now I've expressed how the breast is in its true nature but how does it feel from within woman when a breast feels really connected? In other words, if I feel really connected to my breast, how does that feel as a woman? Well, if I'm inside my body and in the awareness of the breast, then there is sensation there. If I bring my attention there, there's sensation in the nipples and there's a bigger sensation that connects the breast to the heart. So the heart and the breast are connected when I'm actually really feeling into my love. Then the breast and the heart are really quite a big energy is full of sensation happening inside the body and how I view my own breasts is how my breasts are going to respond to me so if I'm constantly filling my breasts with thoughts of you're not big enough 
you're too big, you know, based on this very sexual and mental approach to the breast that has become so acceptable in the world. And we see it, for example, by the whole pop-up bra phenomena. How can I make my breasts more perky? How can I make them bigger, you know? Or how can I make them smaller, liposuction? All these things that are making women's breasts not acceptable just how they are. So it becomes a physical expression of the feminine rather than a spiritual and natural expression of the feminine. So if I'm feeling my breasts in their natural state, then there's a lot of love happening in the breasts. And with that love, there's a natural pouring out of that love, which naturally wants to feed man. This is the breast in its true nature. It naturally wants to feed man a spiritual energy through the mouth. Now, if your breasts have not been loved and maybe if you've been filling your breasts with this constant thought that they're not right, that they're not enough, or you've completely just cut, cut them off because they've created a lot of confusion in you around man, maybe he wolf whistles you, maybe he's constantly looking at your breasts rather than your eyes and it's created a lot of confusion in you from a young girl, then you close your energy down. So how to open that up? to start to really bring your attention to the breast just holding the breast daily when you wake up in the morning connecting the breast to that other sacred center to your womb is really really important as well connecting the breast to the heart how can you do that through breath through focusing through bringing yourself into the source of love and accepting your breast first breathing more love up from from the yoni from the vagina from the womb into the breast starting to bring loving energy loving thoughts into your breast actually welcoming the energy of your breast to open often we experience pain when we are with man when maybe we're with a beloved maybe it's a man that we are not um, who is not our partner but if the man is, is really loving you, you may experience pain in the breast as the nipples start to open up more. It's just like when a, a baby starts to suckle its mother. Often a woman will experience pain in her nipples because she's not used to something actually really connecting to her life force. And there's the physical opening, there's the spiritual opening of the breast. So if you don't feel safe, for example, with your man, and he is, is sucking your breast, then you may experience pain. Often what happens when real love is, is uh, happening in your lovemaking with your man, then what happens is a purification of the breast. So if he's really drinking from your breast with his whole being, with his heart, he's really giving himself to your breast, often what happens is this sense of shame this sense of not enoughness, this sense of disgust or filth that is stuck in the whole feminine psyche, it starts to come out of the breast through this kind of loving. So if your breast is closed, if that energy is quite closed, if you feel quite disconnected, then love will start to open the breast up. Also massaging the breast regularly, daily as part of your shower routine. For example, you get out, you apply massage oil to your belly, to your breast, to your body. Then actually just making that daily connection with the breast. And you'll start to, through massaging and just bringing them more alive. So giving attention to your breasts daily, both physically and with your love. Allowing your breasts to really fully take their place in your body as a part of your beauty. Also, it's wisdom as a woman to know when to cover your breasts up and when to allow them to be more seen. And that's something that takes deep listening. Maybe you're in an environment in the street and you see a lot of men that are maybe not in such a wholesome place, you know, some more base energy. Maybe that's a time where you'll throw your sweater over your shoulder that it covers your breasts or your shawl or you'll button up your jacket, for example. And there are other times, for example, when maybe you're out with your sisters um, 
or you're visiting friends or you're with your beloved and then you can allow the full beauty of your breast to be seen so it's important to know when to cover the breast up because the energies around you are not too good and also when to also let them be seen in their full beauty thank you for sharing with me today and